Guys, welcome back to the show. I'm Bob K6UDA, host of the K6UDA show here on Rumble. Today, guys, I have something super, super fun for you. Today, we're going to test a battery. Yeah, because there ain't nothing more fun than doing a battery review, <laughs> is there? Uh, this, my friends, is the lead time 12.8 volt 165 amp hour lithium battery it does a very very cool thing yes it has uh you know internal bms it has all that good stuff but it has its own app that hooks up like super easy super seamless this time on k6 uda we're going to check out this Lee Time battery. Let's do this. All right, guys. Uh, hey, welcome back again. Today, we are taking a look at this big, giant battery. It really isn't that big, giant. It's a Group 31 battery. This is the same as the Battleborns, as the, uh, the Power Queens. It's the same size. The big difference, capacity. 165 amp hours, guys. These guys ain't no joke. And yes, the lead time people sent me this battery to review for you uh, for ham radio and survival purposes. So what better way to show you than to uh, power up something and uh, let it sit there forever. So let's go out to Studio B. All right, so I ran this battery through the paces. My buddy RD was kind enough to lend me a piece of test gear. This thing, uh, this is a very cool device. It will allow me to put a draw on a battery at a constant state, at a trigger, at all kinds of different parameters. I did it at a constant voltage or a constant current. I wanted two tests. I did a five amp test uh, to see how long it would go. And I also did a 15 amp test. Let's talk about what a five amp drawdown test does. At five amps, it's a typical household draw, 120 volts in the U.S. corresponds to about 600 watts of power. And I'm not even going to go into the formula. Uh, here's some common household items that might co consistently draw around 5 amps when operating. Small electric space heaters that use 500 to 750 watts. That's about close to a five amp draw. Microwave ovens, compact or low power microwaves, five to 700 watts, typically around five to six amps when running. Toaster ovens might pull around 600 watts, equating to roughly five amps. Uh, larger models can exceed this. Vacuum cleaners, some small or handheld vacuum cleaners operate in the 500 to 600 watt range, typically a five amp draw. Again, hair dryers on low or medium is about 600 watts, five amps. On high, it'll be a lot higher. Electric kettles, smaller kettles, 500 to 600 watts uh, designed for quick boiling of water, close to five amps. What I ended up doing was I took pictures throughout this thing. This was a, this five amp test took nearly 24 hours. So I'm not going to film for 24 hours. That would be stupid. So I took pictures. Here's the real cool thing. These pictures are from the built-in app that Lee Time gives you, or you could download from the app store and it'll read that battery. And guys, the uh, time remaining that you see, that was so freaking close and accurate. Given the wattages, 
that it was using. Man, I was impressed. The five amp test, the battery started out, it was 82%. So it wasn't completely full. Uh, and I took that into account, but it was still over 24 hours for that thing to discharge completely down to four amps or down, yeah, down to 4% of uh, capacity. Now for the 20 amp drawdown test that I did, I used the same piece of equipment here, set it for 15 amps uh, because that's kind of, I've got 15 and 20 amp circuits in uh, Studio B. I didn't want to start blowing all the circuits, but <laughs> I wanted a consistent drawdown. What I ended up doing was doing that test at 15 amps. I topped that battery off, went all the way up to what 90, went to 99% capacity and uh, started that down. And I figured, well, you know what? I'm just going to take the battery down to 50%. And surprisingly, that was a long time. Look at the times where these pictures came in, getting down toward 50%. Man, I was, uh, I was impressed. All right, as a matter of fact, let's run over here and we'll run into my utilities and lead time there at the bottom. We'll click that and we'll go back out. And this is what it is. I have the K6 UDA 165 amp hour battery set up and I'm going to press the Bluetooth. It is now Bluetooth connected. Current state of charge there at the bottom, 63% state of charge. I figured, okay, that's enough. Right now, because the battery is not hooked up, there's 0% going out, 0% current, 13.3 for the volts. Uh, capacity still has 104 amp hours. Guys, that's more than my 100 amp hour uh, Battleborn batteries, more than, uh, than a fully charged uh, Power Queen that I've got. I can hit the balance on there and it'll show you. Under good conditions, your battery is well balanced. The cells, cell statuses are normally functioning optimally and the battery management system is functioning normally. Yesu 891 is hooked up right now and it is cycling. You could see it's using 18 volts just monitoring there's nothing monitoring. I have it hooked up to a dummy load right now. It's drawing 1.4 amps. So at 1.4 amps, you could probably run this radio for a week. If I key the mic, we're now pulling between 110, 56 to 110. It's fluctuating and we're drawing 4.2 amps on a uh on transmit here and i have it set to transmit at 75 watts it is drawing oh 60 to 70 watts of power at a pretty steady four to five amps and when i talk uh that's the amplitude and it pops it up 10 11 and then when i unkey obviously. All right. I got my little, uh, my little watt meter hooked up here. Batteries down below. I've got the 891 and you could see at idle, it's not, it's, uh, drawn, you know, like 0.2. The app can't even detect what it's drawing. 13 watts is kind of the load on it. 0.99 amps, four amps up to eight amps. When it hears me talking, it's, uh, it is kind of jumping all over the place, but you're not on the mic all the time. When you key down, the, the app now picks it up. Pretty cool, but it's only drawing at, uh, at max. It's drawing two amps on transmit, uh, drawing 25 watts. 
This is the 165 amp hour Bluetooth lithium battery. RV and Marine is what they call it. I'll tell you what, guys. Uh, I have three Battleborn batteries in my uh, in my coach right now. Two of these would uh, make up the three. If I re if I got two more of these and put those in place, uh, that'd be the the equivalent of having four of the Battleborn batteries. Now, do they last as long, or are they as hardcore as a Battleborn? I don't know, but they're $350 each. And I think for any kind of a backup deal, uh, mine is important. I'm going to use this. I'm replacing a current 100 amp hour battery with this out in Studio B. I want to use it to back up my uh, repeater because bad stuff happens. If the power goes out, uh, I, want the, uh, I want the repeater to keep running and I think the repeater can keep running at its level for probably three or four days uh, using one of these batteries. Very, very cool. I'm super impressed with it. They say it's the best battery for RV, marine, off-grid, home storage, solar systems, and more. I'll tell you what, uh, you get a lot of bang for the buck. It's the same form factor as a, uh, as say the Battleborn or the, or another hundred amp hour, uh, lithium battery, including the power queen, which I have IP 65 waterproof and dust proof five year warranty. Don't use it as a starter battery or for a golf cart. And every lithium battery comes with that. They all say, don't use it as a golf cart battery. There's specific uh, deep cycle, six volt golf cart batteries that are intended for that hard motor use. These are not intended for a super heavy duty startup load. So like I said, $350 uh, for one of these. That's... Guys, that's kind of an average price for a 100 amp hour battery, uh, for a decent 100 amp hour battery. Those Battleborns are $1,000 a piece. Okay, what I really like about this battery is obviously uh, 165 amp hours in a single battery. Very, very cool. Thank you, Lee Time. You have done it on that account. Also, uh, the other thing that I am super, super stoked about is this uh, Bluetooth app. I did ask the folks at Lee Time because I was kind of thinking along those lines of uh, putting two or three of these in series and running those in the motorhome. No, the app will not combine batteries. It'll read each battery separately and then you'd have to still hook it up to something that would read the total output of the battery and feed that, uh, say, you know, a, a Victron, uh, a Victron shunt or something like I have right now. The one thing these batteries aren't is light. With all the stuff packed in there, 165 amp hours, the Bluetooth, everything else, I don't know what else because I'm not like a battery guy. It came in at 33 and a half pounds. So I threw my uh, 100 amp hour uh, Power Queen battery on the scale right next to it. And that was 24 pounds. Significant difference if you're lugging the battery around. But once you put it somewhere, hey, it's all good. So what I recommend buying a Lee Time battery, yes, I would. Um, I'm probably going to buy one or two more in the next couple of months here. And uh, I am thinking of swapping out the Battleborn batteries in my coach and trying these guys out. Three of these would be equal to uh, four of... 100 amp hour battery and it would cost as much as one of the battleborns.
If you're thinking about buying one of these for yourself and you want to save a little scratch, use the offer code K6UDA. I'll provide a link in the description below. You could save a little Skrilla, some cash, cashola. It helps me out. I'll be honest. Me time asked me not to uh, compare it to any other competing batteries or don't show any competing batteries. Oh well, you guys are smarter than that. This ain't an ad, this is a review. And to do a review of a battery, I had to compare it to other batteries that I've got. All right guys, that's it for this time. Hey, if you like the video, please remember uh, like, share, subscribe, comment. It really does help me. And uh, until the next time, I will catch you later. I'm Bob, K6UDA. I'm out of here. 7-3.